morning and welcome all, honey. <laughs> welcome to the People's Channel, baby. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies. Now, in today's video, baby, I will be doing an unboxing of all of my orchid supplies for the summer of 2019. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, pal, pal, so all of this stuff came off of Amazon. No, ma'am, I'm not leaving a link um, in the description box because no one has paid me. Honey, when you're good at something, please don't do it for free. And this actually came from Home Depot. Um, a dear friend, pal, pal at the Orchid Society, she told me that they had these on sale. I don't even remember how much I paid for them. Um, um, as you know, I've already used one of the baskets, and that was an epic fail. Um, when I placed when I um, placed another um, Phalaenopsis or whatever in this basket, it will not be moss alone. Okay, so all of this stuff I have for my my summer growing. Now, in addition to all of this stuff, I also have um, a lot of plant stands and stuff to, to help decorate. So, of course, they had the little bags and stuff. I got me some of that special orchid potting mix that I've been using. And like I said, the reason that I purchased this is because not only is it endorsed by the American Orchid Society, but Fail Pals, this bag is only $3 as an add-on item. That's why I have not one, honey, but two of them, okay? Okay, so yes, as you've seen in a previous video, I have the lava rocks, now I have the bark. And Fail Pals, the reason that you want to have different um, medias is because you... Foul Pals, you have to decide what media is the best in your living environments. And sometimes a phalaenopsis will just reject that type of media, okay? So this is the fair bark with some charcoal and some perlite. Now I'm gonna mix in a little sphagnum moss, might even put a little lava rocks, honey. And hopefully that will be very, um, very sufficient because what my concern is, is in those winter dry months, that's when I started having all of my phalaenopsis problems with that low humidity. So I want something that's not gonna be too wet or too dry, foul pals. Now in addition, what can this be? Some of you probably already know. What could it be? Ta-da! Yes, and I got me a little bit of that sphagnum moss, honey. A little bit more of that sphagnum moss, but I'm not going to just put it in. I'm not, we are going to do something different. And the reason why I got some more sphagnum moss is because the sphagnum moss that I have under the sink for, we'll explain it in a different video, but shortly, the moss is not the color uh, um, as this anymore. It's very dark, and I'm afraid something is wrong with it. Every time I plant um, an orchid in the moss that I already have that's open, quickly, it um, some kind of way gets that white mold. So I said, well, let me try a fresh batch that has not been opened. And once I do open it, I will put it in a Ziploc bag, okay? And last but not least, honey, yes, honey, yes, honey, I got me a TDS meter. Yes, we are going to get serious with that watering. Yes, honey, yes. So mama got to do her research on this and figure out what's, what's what and everything Oh, Lord, I'm tearing it up. Okay, orchids for dummies. So, I guess nothing comes off. Anyway, honey, like I said, we gonna figure it out, and we will be right back. But, all right, Foul Pals, thank you so much for tuning in and looking at all of my summer supplies. Until next time! <laughs>